Hey, um, this is Zach Williams. Um, I'm a student here at Moody Bible Institute in, in Chicago, and I just wanted to talk to you guys today because I want to tell you about uh, what happened last night. And because God is just so good. He's so amazing. And it, it was just, it was, I had a late, late night last night. I got, got home around 2, 2.30, didn't get to bed till 3, 3.30, and so kind of tired, kind of tired today, but um, but God is just so good, and I want to tell you about what we did, and it was just so amazing. We went out to this place called Boys Town, and it's a gay, a gay bar area, and we just went there just to love on them, had signs that said free prayer, and and just wanted to tell them about Jesus and how much Jesus cares about them, how much Jesus loves them, and that He doesn't judge them, and we don't judge them, but that we care and that we love them too. And it was just so, so amazing. I was just really moving um, out during that night last night. And so I have it on my phone, some notes of kind of things that just just happened there, so... I wanted to just share that with you guys, um, and I and I really hope that you take the time to uh, to watch this to the to the end and um, just really see what God did. Um, so, anyways, yeah. So we were out in Boys Town, and like I said, we had signs to say free prayer, and um, I was with my friend Jesse, and her and I were were together and and uh, just sitting there with signs, and we had other people that spread out throughout the uh, area that uh, there and um and so at first you know there was some people that were mocking us and and wanting us to like leave and get out of the place um but there was some that actually came and were very genuine and were and were glad were really glad that we were there thanking us that we were there um willing to pray for whatever they were going through and and so <laughs> It was crazy. One guy, one guy, him and his, him and his boyfriend came up to us, and he, and he was just like, he was like, hey, you know, like guys, can you, can you pray for me? Because he said, he said, I've been, I've been really struggling with drugs, and 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 having a hard time with with drugs, and I'm trying to get off of them, but it's just, it's just been hard. And can you, can you pray for me that that God will just get the drugs away from my life? And I was like, yeah, man, you know, of course. And so Jesse and I were were praying for him, and and at, when we got done praying for him, it was crazy. He reaches in his pocket and he pulls out this bag of cocaine, and he gives it to me, and <laughs> and it was I dumped it out that the right students who gave it to me, I dumped it out, and it's this bag right here. This bag was was filled with cocaine about about halfway, and. Oh man, it just it gets me so excited because this is what it's all about. It's all about Jesus. It's all about his love. And this guy, because he saw that we cared, he saw that we loved him and we weren't judging him. He was like, you know what? I'm gonna give these guys this, even though I just bought it. I'm gonna give it to him. And and he gave it to us, and we got a bag of cocaine off of the streets for Jesus. I mean, I mean, if that doesn't get you excited, I don't know. I don't know what else will. But God is just so, so good. And so there was that that guy and, and, and him, his boyfriend, that gave us gave us those drugs. And, and we were able to, to dump them out right there and, and pray for him. That God would just completely take all addiction of drugs away from his life. And, and then also, uh, one guy, he came up and asked for his prayer, prayer for his mom. Uh, Rosa, who was in the hospital and she was really sick and and dying and and so we were able to just just pray for him and and his mom and and it was it was a blessing and then and what's kind of crazy too is a a group of four four people came up to us and uh, a couple guys a couple girls and uh, at first they just started mocking us and this guy like got like down on his knees. And was kind of just like mocking us, like, yo, pray for me, you know, like just, just mocking us or whatever. And, but then I like got down with them and I was like, hey, 
God wants to God wants to tell you something. And so we're sitting there in the middle of Boys Town on our knees, and I started praying for him and talking to him just as if God was talking with him, just loving on him, telling him what what I felt God was like, you know, stirring up in my heart to share with him. And and these four people started breaking down crying. And and they went from they went from mocking what we were doing to to praying to God and 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 crying. I mean that's the power and the love of Jesus. You know, like God God says, Okay, you're gonna you're gonna mock me or mock mock my people. I'm still going to use that to reach you. You know what I mean? If God wants to reach us, he'll reach us. And and he loves us so much that it doesn't really matter how we come to him. He will still reach our hearts and he will still touch us in an extraordinary way. All we got to do is be just come to him no matter how we come to him just as we are. And God will just eradicate us with his love. And it was also cool too because those guys that are actually mocking us two of them and two guys I end up getting their one of their numbers and he wants they want to go to church with us now um and so I'm going to I'm going to try I'm going to invite them to church uh today and see if they would want us want to go with us um tomorrow so I guess like when I post this it will be Sunday morning um it's Saturday right now about about one o'clock but man you guys that's what it's all about. It's all about God's love. No matter where we're at, where we're living in the homosexual lifestyle or we're not, whether we're out doing drugs or we're not, whether we're out hanging with prostitutes and trying to sleep with them or we're not, no matter where we're at, we all need Jesus and we all need His, His radical love. And that is the only thing that has ever going to make a difference and it impacts somebody's life is the love of God. Now, I don't know where where any of you guys are at right now or what you guys are going through and whoever ends up watching this video, but I want you to know that God loves you and He sees you where you're at and He's saying, my son, my daughter, there is nothing that you could do in this world, in this life that will keep me from loving you. And we just got to surrender him, to, surrender to him. And say, God, I am messed up. I have sin in my life. And I, I do too. Me personally, I got sin. I got sin in my life. There's there's stuff I'm I'm going through. You know? But the beauty of God is is that we can come to him no matter what we're going through. And we could talk to him like a normal human being and say, God, there's a lot of hurt in my life. There's a lot of things I'm going through, things that have been done to me, things I've done. And God, I confess it to you. And God, please just take it away from me. I give you my life. I surrender to you. And we, and we come to God like that and God will work beauty in that see we don't need to change to come to the god but god will change us when we come to him because his love is so great that when we when we truly come to him and say god this is who i am and i don't know what to do but help me god will come in and he will help you he will get you through it he'll get you through the pain and the hurt and the strife and, and the drugs and whatever else you're going through he'll get you through it and he'll say my son my daughter i love you so much and the love of god will just totally transform your life and so my question is today do you want to come to know jesus as your personal savior do you want to experience the radical love of God in such an extraordinary way? And I know there may be people that have other Christians that may have, you know, done things to you that made you fall away from God or, or made you never even want to come to God. You may not even believe in God at all because of the way you see other Christians act. And I want to apologize to you on their behalf and say that is not the God of the Bible. That is not the God that I serve. The God I serve is loving, compassionate, kind, welcoming, 
And He wants to welcome you today into His kingdom. And if you if you want to have that opportunity, if you want to, to have a relationship with God, all you got to do is say this simple, simple prayer. And if you can, just, just repeat it after me and say, God, I don't, I don't know how to change my life. I don't know what to do. I don't even really know how to talk to you. But, but God, I ask right now that you will come into my life. That you will change me from the inside out. God, I, I ask you that, to forgive me of my sins. All the things that I have done, God, I lay them at your feet. Please forgive me. I believe that you came and that you died and that you rose again. And I believe in your son, Jesus, as the son of God. I ask you into my heart today in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, if you, if you pray that prayer, or even if you think about praying that prayer later, I don't know. But please feel free to message me. Send me, send me a message on Facebook or or anything, and I'll I'll be willing to talk to you. I'll, I'll, and if and if I need to, I'll give you my number. And you could call me, and we can talk, and 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 we could walk through this together. And 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 just God loves you so much, and so do I. So God bless, and have a great, great day.